one idea to simplify the tax code would be let's stop doing so much of this itemized deduction business because obviously the people that itemize are usually the more wealthy individuals who who have these other categories of deductions that we're trying to incentivize but are kind of outside you know the normal deductions they're they're things where the government is trying to incentivize people to behave in certain ways like a charitable deduction is clear clearly trying to incentivize people to give uh to charity which is kind of which is a good thing but at the same time you would think that you know people i, I still kind of think people would give the charity without needing the charitable deduction and if people are not itemizing they still might be giving to charity even though they're taking the standard you know deduction and possibly not getting a benefit on a tax return of of giving to charity and so on and, and so forth if, if you get a deduction for retirement plans then and you don't have to include that money in income or you get like an ira above the line or adjustment to income deduction then that's incentivizing people to save for retirement which is good but again if we didn't have that deduction would people not save for retirement i kind of feel like you know we should be telling people it, it the the motive matters in terms of people's behavior right they should be doing things not just because they've been triggered to do it like sly you know the dog salivating when a bell rings or something like that they should be doing it because the, you know we, they're thinking about it and about retirement and say ah it's a good idea to do that there's a difference right between those two things but anyway so the st so standard deduction is one that everyone gets right no matter what and that's usually going to be lower income individuals that are going to be taking the standard deduction and then the item deduction is only if the itemized deductions are greater than the standard deductions would you take the itemized deduction why is that because deductions are good and you're going to get either one of these but not both and therefore you're only going to take the itemized deductions if they're larger than the standard deductions what are the itemized deductions that usually push people over the threshold to itemize rather than taking the standard usually things related to a home purchase such as the uh the interest mortgage interest and property taxes and then you can combine that with state taxes if, if you have substantial income taxes on the state side which are capped and limited to but but those are the things that usually might push people over now you have to be careful with that too because real estate agents as we'll talk about when we get there will emphasize that and say that well you need to buy a home in order to take advantage of the taxes but and that might be the case but you don't it's not as straightforward as that either because the standard deduction is significant so you don't, so if you're paying interest on a mortgage just to get a tax deduction that might not be the best way to go uh because you still have to pay the interest on the more you still have to take out a massive loan which is usually a big thing for most for most people in order to get basically a deduction but we'll talk more about that later that gets you to the taxable income so taxable income this whole thing is basically the income statement side of things for the income tax formula income statements are income minus expense this has a, another pit stop income minus deductions which are kind of expenses which are going to be the above the line deductions pit stop along the way adjusted gross income and then the greater of standard deductions or or the itemized deductions 